Next uh, screen uh, recording uh, software we're going to take a look at is screencastomatic.com. Uh, and this is an interesting one because you run it right from their website. You don't have to install any software. Now, I did have to install Java, um, but once, once you're here, you just click uh, any of these start recording buttons. And it'll it'll run a little applet. Now, typically, a Java applet is such that it it doesn't do harm to your computer. In case you're never never familiar with that. Um, now, I I had to actually say allow it to run the first time through, and now it's just running. And then uh, it's waiting for us to resize the screen, so you can resize it to whatever you want. I'm gonna bring my tablet up. I'm gonna show a problem here. That's probably good right there. So I'm going to click the record. And then um, I'm going to um, factor x squared minus 49. Now this is the difference of two squares. So I want to write it as something squared minus something else squared. You ask yourself what time the self gives you x squared, and that's x. And what time the self gives you 49, and that's 7. So you take what's inside your first set of parentheses, you add what's in your last, and you take what's inside your first, and you subtract what's in your last. So our answer is x plus 7 times x minus 7. Now I'm done with this recording, so I'm going to click the done down here. You are limited to 15 minutes, um, so click done. At this point, you could publish to YouTube or pub publish to a video file. Um, I'm going to click publish to YouTube. And... Um, this is a difference of two squares, example. And I'll just type example here and example here. I won't put any kind of effort into the description tags. Uh, category, I want to choose education. And scroll down here. Um, I'm going to click add account and I'll launch web browser. And um, I'll go ahead and click Grant Access. I think I clicked it. I'll try it again. Uh, Grant Access. Okay. I remember on this machine, I'll say continue. So, okay, we got that uh, my YouTube account in there. Um, now I'll go ahead and click uh, Upload to YouTube. kind of a neat option uh, to actually record it from your website. Now, I have to be honest, I canceled the first one because I wasn't sure if I wanted to give them my account up on YouTube. Not that there's anything valuable up there. But um, I went and did some research and found some uh, some universities were using this, so it's just like, well, that's got to be safe then. Relatively. <laughs> you know, anybody can hack into you nowadays. And they put the link here. So if I click that, it'll pop up my link. And now we can take this URL here. I can click up here, right click on it, say copy, and then go um, put it wherever I want in our LMS or, or whatever. And that's um that's using the screenomatic. And once you're done with that, then um, I'll click back. And you could uh, publish it even to a video file. It's kind of neat. Uh, if I want to put an MP4, AVI, if you don't trust. Uh, if you don't want to give them your account information on YouTube, you can uh, uh, put it in one of these formats. I think uh, YouTube will take both MP4 and AVI and then upload it. In full size, um, notes don't need, save video. And um, I'm going to save it on my C drive. Temp, tell me. And. Um, Call it example MP4. And click save. I've only played with this a little bit, so I'm definitely not an expert on it, but I'm I am very impressed with it. Except for the 15 minute uh, limit. And um then you click back and um say done with this recording and delete, so that's fine. Okay. So now if I come over here. Here's the example I just put in here. If I double click that. And then um, I'm going to um, factor 
You can't hear it because I got a headset on, but it's I hear my now voice. This is the and difference so forth. two squares. So, I won't so anyway, uh, that's Greenomatic.